What if I told you there's an options trading strategy that you can use to generate monthly income, lower your risk of loss, and potentially outperform the market by 10x or even more? Would you be interested? The good news is this is a strategy that does exist, and it's surprisingly easy to understand. My name is Robert Roy, and I'm the founder of WealthBuildersHQ.com, and if this is something you want to add to your trading arsenal, you're going to want to stick around for this. Let's start off first with what a covered call is. In other words, a definition. A covered call is when you have a stock and an option. You own the stock, you sell the call. What does that do? It makes you covered. If you were just selling an option that was not covered by a stock, in other words, you did not have something to give to the market, to another trader, to the broker in essence, to cover your position, you'd be known as what is called naked in that trade. In order to enter a covered call, you need a few things. The very first thing is you need stock. But the thing about it is you can't just buy one share or five shares or 113 shares. You need to buy shares in 100 share increments, 100, 300, 800, whatever the number is, 100 share increments. For every 100 shares you buy of stock, you would sell one call against that position. Now it's time to talk about some of the benefits of covered calls. The very first one is you lower your downside risk. And let's use an example. Let's say for argument's sake, you buy a stock at $10. Very simple. If the stock were to go against you, how far down could it go? Zero. All right, well, if it goes to zero, how much did you lose? The $10 you paid for the stock. With a covered call, let's say that you buy the same $10 stock, but now you go ahead and you sell a call against it. In other words, you're renting out your stock. Yes, I know. People are going to think you're crazy if you start talking about renting out your stock. I hear it all the time. But you're going to rent your stock out. And let's say that someone is willing to pay you a dollar for renting that stock from you. Well, now what did you do? You took your stock price and you reduced it, right? That's reducing your cost basis. Now if the stock went to zero, you bought the stock for 10, you sold the option for a dollar, so your cost basis is nine. So if the stock drops to zero, guess what? You lose Nine, not $10. You also have higher earning potential on covered calls than just owning the stock. And what I mean by that is, what does the average stock move in the course of the year? 8%, 10%, it kind of moves with the S&P 500. In general, you always have the high flyers that go really far, as well as ones that go against you in years that the market is up as well. Right? By renting your stock out, you're generating income, regular income. Well, it could be monthly, my preference is weekly. So if you could do that 30, 40, 50 times a year, bring in small rent, it doesn't matter, just a small rental income, it can dramatically increase the rate of return on that position. When you're trading covered calls, there are many outcomes that you could contend with, but there are three that I really wanna talk about here today. The first one is the stock moves up. Well, if the stock moves higher, let's say, again, you bought the stock at 10 and you gave someone the right to buy your stock away at 11. If the stock goes above $11 a share on expiration day, they're going to take that stock away from you. You are exercised, right? That's not a bad thing. You bought the stock at 10, you sold it for 11, and they paid you, remember the dollar? They paid you a dollar. So that's not a bad thing when that happens. The next thing is the stock price remains the same. All right, but Rob, if, we, if stocks don't go up, we don't make money. No, we do here. That's the thing about this. When the markets were going wiggy and it just flopping around sideways, I love covered calls in that market. Stocks aren't moving, but I'm renting my stock out a dollar every week, every month, whatever the numbers are, whatever the time frame is, I'm renting my stock out again and again and again. The third scenario, the stock price goes down. Now the option would not be exercised, which means you still own your stock, the option has expired, and now you can write again. But now your value of your stock went down a little bit, so you're losing money. Well, you're really not. Because you rented that stock out, you have some premium that you took in. So it may still be costing you a little bit on your stock, but you reduced what your cost in that trade was. I hope you found this explanation helpful to you. If you did, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to keep up with our latest trading content. You can get trading tips like this every single week at my free weekly webinar called Power Hour. In it, I analyze the S&P 500, I look at the VIX, which I call the fear factor, I discuss the hot stocks of the week, and I also look at the stocks that you're looking at each and every time. 
We go live every Monday at noon Eastern time. You can sign up using the link in the description below. Folks, you don't want to miss it. Until next time, make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you're just one trade away. Folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the training. Now, if you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button right over here and hit the bell to keep up with all the latest trading content. And oh, did you know that we have a podcast? Supercharge your trading education with the Stock Market Millionaire, which you can find in the description down below. And while you're there, you can also find other amazing free trading resources that I've put together just for you.